but it's like the age of hilarious. And it's so funny because there is a divine comedy to all this. It's like we're literally looking at the hypocrisy of spiritual wickedness implode on itself. It sucks that we're in the way and like we really need to start making good decisions to get out of like it's like a house of cards that's falling and we need to not be where any of that shit's going to land. So that's the hardest part right now for people is to get out of the way. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. it is, if you can, if you can remove yourself from it, it's frigging hilarious watching all of like the, the flip flopping and the, the, the logical inconsistencies. And quite frankly, I would say the mental illness, but I've really been looking at this as like a demon infestation. <laughs> Like mm -hmm. we really are. It's mm -hmm. like a freaking gay demon infestation. Mm -hmm. And I saw that in Hollywood. And mm -hmm. it's like, like th there's something in the eyes. They're like, they're, a lot of these people have like these dark fucking eyes that I don't know how to explain. And like, so like, they're, they'll like, they'll like, like sliver up to you and they'll be like, so straight or gay <laughs> within like 30 seconds of meeting you. And it's like, what? Where is any of this, like, like yeah. none of this shit is acceptable our yeah. entire life. And now yeah. it's like every perversion and sexual advance is now acceptable in our society. And you can mm -hmm. be as gross and like low standard having sloppy. I can't stand it. Remember like, uh, like even airplanes, everybody's like, I mean, I understand people want to be comfortable, but like airplanes when I was a kid, you got like hot meals and shit and like people were wearing suits and now it's like everybody's it's the walmart crowd and airlines feels like you're you know they're the same vibe i get at an inner city department of motor vehicles is the exact same vibe i get going through the tsa which is the exact same vibe i get on the airplane itself it's like low yeah. standards no service everybody's just phoned it in <laughs> it's totally. like but you know what just, yeah go ahead Sorry, I'm bitching. I feel so incredibly fortunate, and I'm not saying this just to like negate what you're saying, but and and I, the, I there's such a contrast it, when I go out into the world, and today I could have gone to these places, right? And do I want to go anywhere? Nope, I don't because of what you're talking about. And but what has happened for me instead is I've surrounded myself with people who are like that. Who, is, who have life in their eyes, who have aspirations, who are working for the good of others tirelessly. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so it that's become my reality. And people need to know that you can uh, you can create that around you. And, and that's what we need to do. That's what we're called for right now, to build civilization that is the going to replace the one that's falling. Yeah, there's, listen... There's always going to be opportunity. What, what you're saying is exactly right. The world can go to shit, but that's just a man-made illusion. The world is fine. The world that God made, whatever your perception of that creative force exactly. is, that is perfect. And it's not going anywhere. It's yeah. our man-made systems that are basically the antithesis. Like every time we go against nature, it's like we hex ourselves or we cripple ourselves a little bit more. And it, in the way, think about like health, you could put a bunch of junk in your body and you'll be fine if you exercise and, you know, compensate. But if you put too much junk in your body over a long period of time, it starts creating problems. And that's exactly like nature. The more we get away from it, the more problems it creates over time. I know. But I know. it's not going to condemn you. You're not going to know. It's very slow. So you can, it's a gradual process. So that's the hard, that's the frustrating thing about health and biology is like sometimes the symptoms you have are from something that started so long ago, you don't even know what it is. And it's kind of like that with society. And it's only when you can kind of really step back and look at data. That is, I'm not like all about data and statistics, but there is something that can be learned by looking at data and statistics and looking at society objectively without getting too like emotionally invested in it. And you can kind of see like the patterns, like the further we get from nature, the more problems we're going to have in this collapse. And the person who can still grow food, who can still live in harmony with nature, they're going to be fine during all this. You know, I know.